friends. Don't worry. You'll never see me. Bad friends. Bad friends. Bad friends. you from afar, hunched in your closet, or strapped beneath your car. I treasured all the stories the three of us share. Wherever you are, I'll always be there. When you were alone, I was there too, behind the shower curtain that you never knew. I dressed in your clothes and breathed in your air. I watched you both sleep and nuzzled your hair. It helps that your bedroom has places to hide, and the windows don't lock, so I can get inside. I've waited so long to be a part of your life. to have a reasonable conversation with this young lady. Where is she? We've been looking for two hours now. Oh, oh man, not gone. You okay, Mr. Small? Oh, oh. Why are you looking at that painting like that? Oh, thank Mother Earth. You can see it too. working out. Yeah, it's not you, it's us. By which we mean it's you. Wait, don't you want to see what's inside my locker? Is this another one of your tricks? Why would we want to see inside your locker? Because this is the part of the story where you realize maybe I do all this because I'm lonely. No, Sarah, this is the part of the story where you realize there is no story and you leave us alone. Oh, <laughs> yeah, sure. Dude, look at this. The first people who spoke to me at Elmore Junior High. And this, the coolest kids in school. Gumball and Darwin. The only people who really know me. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I know, right? I'm definitely taller than you! And if my eyes were that close together, I'd be a cyclops! No! She really cares about us, and we just pushed her away! Look at this! The amazing adventures of Gumball, Darwin, and Sarah. Oh man, all she ever wanted was to be included. This, this is today. Here's us at lunchtime. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that hand, it's like a big thumb. Little well, hands are difficult to draw. Here's us watching the video. And here's Sarah walking up just a second ago. I wonder what happens next. Mm, well, whatever it is, hope she goes to art school. No, you say, we're her only friends. We have to do whatever it takes to make her happy. We're her only friends? We have to do whatever it takes to make her happy. <gasps> right, how do we do it? It's all right here. be alone. It's all right, guys. You don't have to do this. Yes, I do, Sarah! I have been touched by the beauty of your art. And now, I think I love you. No! You cannot love her, for I love her more. She's beautiful and yellow and runny and funny. <sighs> to see where he hides all his nuts. Okay. And it worked a little too well. Okay, don't move. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, I've got to run now. Why? To compete. Why? Because I have to fight. Why? Because I have to be the best. Why? So people will like me? But lots of people already like you. Really? Like who? <gasps> it's two o'clock already. I'm too late. <sighs> I've got to go home empty-handed. Not quite empty-handed. You have a nut. Huh? Half a nut. <laughs> what would you do if you were me? If I had done everything you've done, sleep till I'm 40. 
I mean, what should I do with my life? Hmm. Maybe start living it? Actually, you know what? I wouldn't change a thing. <laughs> Food fight! Oh no, little man. This is a food war! <laughs> 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 A manifesto on how I will gain the power I need to purge Elmore Jr. High of its greatest problem? What? Is this for real? You better read it. To become school president, I might need to work a little on my appearance. The more serious a leader looks, the more seriously he will be taken. The next step is to alter my voice. Lowering it to give it a little more gravitas. Maybe not that low. And then just a hint of an accent for approachability. Then, I'll need to develop my strategic mind. A leader must be thinking at least two steps ahead. Checkmate. You see, people are a lot like pawns in a chess game, and you need to know how to influence them. Hey, you're right. It's a great idea. You should apply. What? Little old me? But I'm just a simple country boy from the sticks. Now, what would I know about them, their politics? Nah, you'd make a great school president. The best way to achieve your goals is to make people think it was their idea. Uh, who are you talking to? That is not something you need to worry about. Okay. Well, all I was saying is that you would make a great school president, Alan. Ooh, that's a good idea. It is not my idea. So all I'm saying is that Alan would make a great school president. <laughs> you see, people just love to take credit for other people's ideas. Alan would make a great school president. Alan would make a great school president. Alan would make a great school president. Hmm. Surely, once you're done shaking it, it should be called a milk shook. But sadly, not every pawn on the chessboard can be used. The next step is to motivate people to react. Nothing brings about change more quickly than a crisis. <gasps> great tax. 
Your grades will be taxed to provide better grades for the less academically gifted. What the what? Dude, you would totally benefit from that system. Tax is like shared food at a picnic. I'm not bringing the ham if everyone else is bringing the salad. No, you're more likely to bring the wasps. I am not gonna stand for it. So you've got a legal and plausible alternative? Mm, nah, I'm just gonna riot! <laughs> Their argument is sound, though. But we weren't even going to tax their grades. Oh, yeah. Counter-riot! You do realize we're just reading his journal and none of this is real. Yeah, but this is exactly how it would happen if it was happening. Okay, the next step is to stand as a candidate myself and offer a solution. The people have awoken. We must all stand together. Let me be your voice and tell those in charge that we have had enough. <clears throat> Let us think for one moment and realize it is time for change. We must march forward, look to the future, and see that the time for celebration is now. And if I don't deliver that for you, you may strike me down. Vote for me. The next step is a subtle advertising campaign that will help me stand out from my competitors. Huh? Don't let Elmore slip up? Boycott Banana Joe? What the... Don't let the evil take root? Protect the youth? What the... Maybe somewhere in between. That was exactly right. Come on, you can win this by the power of Martin Mashe! You win! Dude, what's the point in learning all these combos if all you need is button mashing? Who cares? Top score! Oh, man. It's only three letters in the top score. Mm, what do I go with? Gum or ball? Maybe go with the least dumb sounding. You're right. Let's go with ball. No, wait. Why don't you use your real name instead of your nickname? Great idea! Wait, what is it? What do you mean, what is it? What kind of guy doesn't know his own name? You don't know what either, do you? Yeah. Then this shall be my quest. I will find out that name. I will stop at nothing. I will leave no stone unturned. I will climb the highest mountain, explore every island, search every cave. I will question every man, woman, and animal. Fight a bear if I have to. I'll wear shorts. I'll milk a fish. I'll shave a baby. Climb a rainbow. No, that would be ridiculous. But I will, like an owl. I will wrestle a senior citizen in jello. I'll kick a crab in the face. I'll steal a watch from a ghost. I'll eat a beard. I'll marinate a plumber. And when they write about me in history books, they will say, he did what had to be done to find out his real name. Your real name? It's Zack. 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 Who's Zack? I am. Oh. Gumbo's called Zack now. So? Yeah, good point. Hey, coach! Big game last night! You're not in the team, Water said. Go, Elmore Ducks! Woo! Hey, Carrie, I think we really nailed that song last night. We're totally gonna win the Battle of the Bands, man. You're not in a band. I'm not in a band. I bet you couldn't even give me the name of a band. <laughs> Yeah, like Germany. Woo! Hey, that's my cousin. Watch out! Watch out, world! There's a new cat in town, and he's cool! School's over already? Yeah, and you spent the whole day with one eyebrow raised behaving like a horrible jock. Are you all right? Oh, Zach is fine. 
Are you sure? Because Zach is kind of digesting part of an apple kid's face right now. That's because Zach does what he wants. Sorry, but who exactly is this Zach? I thought it'd be like Gumball, but with a shorter name. No! Gumball's a loser. Zach is the man. Zach doesn't ask. He takes. Uh, dude, what are you doing? Zach doesn't have to explain himself because he smells so good. Zach, listen to me. Zach doesn't listen. He hears. That's the same thing. Oh, wait, what was that? I'm afraid I can't listen you. What? Oh, walk with me. See, Zach doesn't wait for doors to open. He punches right through them. <laughs> <laughs> Metaphorically, of course. See, here's another example. Zach doesn't waste his time. He goes straight to the point. <laughs> Make way, <laughs> losers! I'm more important than you! So, if Penny didn't do it, who did? Hmm, it must have been you! I said it was him! <gasps> Why me? Well, yesterday you were wandering around when suddenly, at the age of 27, you realized your youth was behind you. Oh. Then all your hair fell out. Bummer. When you saw Principal Brown's lustrous hairy coat, you were overcome with jealousy. Yeah. And acting on impulse, you attacked <gasps> frantically plucked out all of his hair, dyed it the right color, and used it to cover your balding shame. Then planning to mislead any investigation, you painted Principal Brown, wrapped him in toilet paper, and stuffed him into my locker. The perfect crime. <laughs> Save for one thing. Huh? When you stuck the new hair on your body, there wasn't quite enough, which explains this bald spot on your hand. <gasps> Dude, you've got it all wrong. I got this bald spot when I was cleaning yesterday. You see, I spilt some really strong chemicals on my hand and it burnt off the hair. See? Ah! If that's the case, how come I can just pull your hair right off? Ah! Oh, stop! Ah! No! Ah! Oh, okay then. I guess it wasn't you. Who could it be? All this suspense is making me sweaty. Why don't you just wipe your brow with that toilet paper suspiciously stuck to the bottom of your shoe? <gasps> I can't believe I'm about to say this, buddy, but... It was you! <gasps> yes, yes! I did it! I'm a monster! A monster! Just lock me up. I'm a menace to society. <laughs> Take me away! I rest my case. <laughs> but Darwin couldn't have done it! Really? We all saw you on the bus when we went home. Then how do you explain the toilet paper? You've had it on your feet all day, dude. Didn't you notice? Nope! Don't remember any toilet paper. So it wasn't Penny, it wasn't Rocky, and it wasn't Darwin. Which leaves us with only one suspect. The only person who knew the combination to the locker Principal Brown was found in. <gasps> you! Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> hmm. That's all the proof I need. You're coming with me, Watterson. Wait, you're forgetting one bit of crucial evidence. And what's that? I'll just go and get it. He's not coming back, is he? No. No homework for the one who catches him! Yeah. Dad, then maybe you should read a book. 
I don't know, dude. This book says he's right. Apparently nachos aren't fruit. What the what? You mean we've been in a flame war for seven hours and we can't even win? <sighs> did he make any spelling mistakes? No, but he did say who instead of whom. Call it. I think you'll find it's whom. <laughs> whap, whap! Cyber psych! Quick, block up before he can respond! <laughs> I love Elmore Plus. It's like real life, but with none of the consequences. Yeah, you get to see what everyone does and how happy they are and how much better their lives are compared to ours. Let's write more sarcastic comments. Just got my roots done, what do you think? I think you should realize this is a public forum and put your pop back on. Upset because of a certain someone. They know who they are. Stop posting mysterious status updates and we have no idea who you're talking about. <sighs> I don't get this. There's always people who give the thumb up to everything, like Tobias is getting his appendix out today. Prob gonna have a scar. Thumbs up from Alan! What is he liking about that exactly? The fact it wasn't him who was in pain? Let me handle this. You have reached your thumb up limit. Please walk away from your computer, look at yourself in the mirror, and give yourself the thumb down. Uh, let's just block him. In fact, let's block everyone that annoys us. Mm, block, 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 Done! We got a message. Who from? I don't know. It's blocked. Dear Dumball and Darwin. What's with the voice? It says read in a deep, scary voice at the top. You have wronged me for the last time. By the end of today, I will have my revenge, and you will be sorry for the way you treated me. Signed, your sworn enemy. Sorry, typo. I meant enemy. <gasps> what did we do? And who sent that message? It could be anyone. It couldn't just be anyone. It has to be someone we've upset. Yeah, you're right. It could be anyone. <sighs> oh, I know. Let's apologize to everyone. Yes, that's the only way we can be sure. How could you forget what you've done to me? Hey, guys, I just wanted to say that you seem really cool and, well, I think we should hang out. What do you say? Wow, that was awkward. Okay, so um, we're gonna go now, but you, uh, you should stay here. Okay, bye. Your time will come. Come on, there must be something we've done to you that's worth an apology. Ding! Yes, come on, use your pointy brain. But Sassy's not angry. Sassy likes you. Sassy likes all the things in the world. Yeah, well, I gotta apologize for something, so I'll apologize for this. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but Sassy liked that too. Aww. Okay, next. Right, I'm angry at you. Tell us about it. Have you ever noticed that nothing in this world is set up as it should be? Like what? I should be more important. I should be the one with the sidekick and exciting adventures. I'm more handsome, richer, and more colorful than you guys. And yet, it's like I'm the supporting character of my own life. <sighs> Come on. I'm not hugging you. We're both in towels. Come on. No, no. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up! Come on, just give me a hug! You weirdos! You leave us no choice. Accept our apology! Accept it! Forgive us! Look how sorry we are! Give us a hug! Okay! Jeez! Right, that's one less angry friend to deal with. Hey, did I tell you about when my brown crayon ran out? Don't worry, though. This story has a happy ending. Does it involve the main character being slowly run over by a bus? No. I used felt to pets instead. True story. Which reminds me of another story. And the thing is, it was my favorite pencil as well. <gasps> Feels like we've been walking down this corridor for half an hour now. It's like a, a superpower. She can distort time and space using only boredom. Nah, I just buffed the floor. <sighs> Somebody's got to man up and put an end to this. So they're like pencils. Well, I mean, I guess they're similar. Thank you. All right, girl, listen up. Because uh, Darwin has something he wants to say to you. Wait, what? Tell her, dude. You know how you think her stories are. You know, straight up awful. <gasps> I thought we were both chickening out. That was like headbutting a kitten. Uh, he meant awful as in they fill us with awe. <laughs> I thought I was boring you for a second. 
No, your stories are great. It's just maybe they could be um shorter, better, over. He, he means they just need a little editing. Come with us. <laughs> Okay, so Gumball used this editing software to make your stories more, uh, to the point. Uh, so yesterday, um, uh, I can not true story. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. Your stories are perfect the way they are. Oh, good. I hope you would tell me if I was boring. <laughs> Bless you. And I woke up and I wasn't in my own bedroom, but then I remembered I was on vacation. My brain is full. Every time she says something, I have to forget something else to make room for it. If she says another word, I'm gonna forget my parents. Do you really want that on your conscience, whatever your name is? I'm sorry. I just don't have the heart to hurt her feelings. <gasps> Home time at last! I mean lunch time. I hate you. It's not me, it's time. I hate you both. I guess I just Last night I had the craziest dream that my pajamas had pockets. And then I woke up and they did have pockets. I mean, maybe we should just try and tune our house. Okay. There was this explosion <gasps> of interest in my stamp collection. <gasps> and I did a backflip. <gasps> and then the pancakes were done. <gasps> I saw a murder <gasps> of crows. There was a tsunami <gasps> of homework. End of the world. And I was like, it's not the end of the world if you run out of margarine. And so we went to the store and bought some. Hold on, dude. If we keep doing this to our brains, we might do some real damage. How many fingers am I holding on? Huh? You're going to have to look down. I can't move anything below the neck. 311. <sighs> I'm glad we stopped before it was too late. And I was in the kitchen making toast, and my dad smelled the toast, and he ate it. True story. Did I tell you about my birthday party? I didn't have one. But I'm sorry, dude, but she's got to go. I'm going to push her in front of Jamie. No, wait. What if we, you know, pass the ball? I don't care about the game. I'm talking about Molly. So am I. I, I just thought it was a good analogy on theme with the, you know, dodgeball and... Doesn't matter. What I meant was, hey guys, have you heard Molly's stories? Yes, and I'm afraid there is only one way to ensure we never have to hear another. I think if anyone else has it there, to the school day. Don't look at me! Rotato! We did it! We did it! Darwin's given up eating potatoes! I knew you'd be pleased, but I didn't realize you'd get so emotional. I'm not. You just shut my hand in the locker. Oh, sorry. So what was that about Darwin? He's gone home and locked himself in his room to quit eating potatoes because it was upsetting you. Why would I be upset? I'm not the same potatoes as he eat in the canteen. Are you saying that all potatoes look the same? Uh, <laughs> Uh, say no. No? I'm gonna go see Darwin. So it looks like everything worked out well in the end. I don't think you understand what just happened. Darwin is struggling to battle his potato cravings, and you just let Idaho, the potato, go off and see him. So we're good? You 
Ooh-wee! Sure is hot. I better put some sunscreen on. Well, plow my furrow. This ain't sunscreen, it's tanning oil. Look at me getting all crispy. Uh, okay, one more time. So Idaho has gone to see Darwin. Remember, Darwin is struggling to resist eating potatoes. Mm. And we if I have a serious expression and nod really slowly, it'll look like I'm listening to every word she says. Uh, Gumbo! What? You do realize you said all of that out loud. Quick, think of a good excuse. And that! Hey, what do you think you're doing? I'm salting the roads for ice. But it's like 90 degrees out here, and it's June! I'm so fired. Okay, so here's a model of the block you live on. I'm sorry I didn't have time to build it to scale. So here's Darwin. Sarah, we don't have time for this. I just realized that Idaho is on its way to see the potato star of Darwin. And Idaho is a potato. <laughs> It's all right, then. But that's still two hours of detention for potentially damaging my beautiful face. Really, Principal Brown, you need to be firmer huh? than that. Oh, uh, okay. Four hours detention. Eight hours? Mm, good. See you in detention, Watterson. Mom, you're not helping. think you look like a dodecadork with your mom at school. <laughs> what does that mean? It's a 12-sided dork, honey. <laughs> mom, you're not helping. <laughs> mom, you're not helping. <laughs> Come on, honey, open the tunnel for the choo-choo train. <laughs> mom, you're not helping. <laughs> was kind of helpful, but this has gone too far. Wait a minute. I, uh, thanks. No, seriously, I need you to stop meddling with my life. I'm not meddling, I'm helping. Helping by meddling. You're just a big meddler. I'm not a meddler. I'm your mother. And a meddler. <laughs> hey, isn't that the girl you like? <laughs> Mom, no! Uh, excuse me, Penny. Have you got a second? Sure, but you guys will need to be quick. The cheerleader tryouts are about to start. Mom, if you love me, please don't do this. Oh, come on, Gummy Puss. Don't be shy. My baby has something to say to huh? him. No, I don't. He'd like to take you out on a date. Uh, that's not true. He loves you. Really? No, I don't! I don't love Penny, and I never will! Gumball? Well... Thanks for being honest with me. No, wait! I meant I'll never love peanuts! No, ponies! <laughs> See what you did? You upset Penny! How am I supposed to get her back? Well, you know, I could help you with that's that. That's enough, okay? That's enough! I'm my own man now. I make my own decisions, and I don't need you babying me any muck. Any muck. Uh, thanks. Now just go home, okay? Oh, come on. We all had a great time, didn't we, Darwin? To be honest, I've never been so embarrassed in my entire life. Why are you smiling then? Well, at first I was trying not to hurt your feelings, but now I'm just stuck. I beg of you, just get out of my life. Okay, I guess I'll just go home then. She's gone. I'll 
never smell again. Darwin! Mom, your breath! Yay! Do you know where your brother is? In the changing room. Thanks. Gumball, it's me. Open the door. No! No, I won't! What happened? Oh, it's awful! I made a decision on my own and it was bad! Listen, whatever it is you've done, you need to come out and face it. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm coming out. Oh, you were going to try and get closer to Penny by joining her cheer team, but now you feel embarrassed because you have to wear a skirt. What? No! I'm going to beat Penny at her own game so she'll realize how awesome and manly I am. Then she'll definitely want to date me. Right. So, what's the problem? The problem is me! What if I'm not as good as the other girls? What if they laugh at me? And this leotard makes me look fat, so I put this skirt on to hide my butt. <gasps> It's no use, Darwin. We're gonna be stuck in here forever. The last time I come in here to whistle for you. But if you don't whistle, I can't go. I never thought it would end like this. Stuck in a bathroom forever. At least we've had some pretty good times. And some crummy ones, too. Look, Darwin, if we don't get out of here, there's something I need to tell you. <gasps> Remember that time they found a creepy picture in your school book and you said you didn't do it? Well, that was me. What? I had to go to counseling for that. I lost my whole summer. I'm sorry, dude. Mr. Small put me in an isolation tank. Well, let's not dwell on the past. <gasps> Gumball, there's something I haven't told you, too. And it's probably going to shock you. What? Is it really bad or something? It's pretty bad, yeah. Last week... Oh, man, I'm so glad it's you. I thought this place was haunted by a couple of screaming girls. We're, We're saved. saved! How long have we been here? About three minutes. Oh, uh, wait, what were you gonna say back there, by the way? Huh? You were gonna say something, remember? Oh, don't worry about that now. We're free. <laughs> I love this game. It's so much fun. Yep. Hey, you know what else was fun? When we were stuck in the bathroom and you were gonna tell me that secret. Yeah, that was fun. Just out of curiosity, what was that little secret? It's better you don't know. Sure, but I told you mine, therefore I think it's better you tell me yours. Nah, let's just play instead. Yeah, let's just play. <laughs> Look at him standing there, knowing his secret. I'll get it out of him if it's the last thing I do. Wow, you're pretty good at this. End it! Gumball wins! There you go, old pal. What's the occasion? Can't the guy just make a meal for his best buddy? This hasn't got anything to do with the secret, has it? Secret? No. What secret? Hmm. You're giving me this food, so I'll tell you the secret, aren't you? Am I? Aren't you? <sighs> Did you do something to this food? I don't know. <laughs> Did I? <gasps> Sorry, excuse me? <laughs> Tap's a little tight, eh? <laughs> Looks like we're all out of drinks. Oh, wait, what's this? You want it? What's the secret? Oh, well. school on a Saturday? Are you kidding me? It's club day. It's the only day of the week when I get to hang out with people I really like. What? 
Uh, gotta go. Okay, see you all back here at five. But wait, I don't have a club to go to. Well, Mom, looks like it's your lucky day. I'm coming with you to your anger management club. Oh, that's sweet, Gumball. But behind this door, I'm a very different person. Trust me, you don't want to see this. Hello, Nicole. Welcome to... Ah! Ah! Could you guys keep it down a little? You keep it down! Hey, Anais, what club are you in? Physics club. Well, today's your lucky day because I'm... Let me stop you right there. You know there are different types of intelligence? Yeah. I don't think you have any of them. I don't get it. Exactly. Oh, come on! Oh, let me in! Oh, don't be a club hog! Oh, fine. Dad, can I join your fantasy club? Ooh, be there! It's me, Gumball. Be you orc? No. Be you dwarf? No, I'm your son. Be you better or savory snacks for the elders? What? No. Then be gone! <sighs> What's up? Man, there's gotta be a club for me somewhere. You could always join my club. What is it? Synchronized swimming! <laughs> hmm, you're good, but I can do better. Here comes the swan dive of eternal beauty! How graceful was that? Dude, you can't swim. <coughs> Fair point. Uh, has anyone seen my trunks? Yeah! Touchdown! A roar! Slam dunk! Yeah! Uh, hey guys, is this the football club? Yeah! Well, uh, did I miss the game? No, it's going on right out there. Why aren't you playing? Because we're, we're the, the reserve team. team! Cool. So, can I join? I don't know. Are you man enough? <laughs> Me? I'm at least 50% man. Well, in that case, here's your towel. Thanks. So, do you guys ever get to play? Nah, we just hang out here and act kind of sporty. You guys just take showers, hang around in towels, and high-five each other? <laughs> There's a little bit more to it than that. Is the game over? Yeah, we lost. Uh oh. What? Ah! Oh, why doesn't anyone want me in their club? It can't have anything to do with me, my talent, my intelligence, or my general awesomeness. You know what? Too bad for you jealous people, because I'm starting my own club and you are not invited. Okay, I'd like to welcome everyone to Gumball's Club of Gumball. First order of business, attendance. Hmm, pretty good. Now, it seems like recently we've been let down by certain family members. So I propose a little exercise in trust. Okay, don't worry, Gumball. Just close your eyes, let yourself fall back, and someone will catch you. Oh, I'm a bit scared, Gumball. Well, that's why it's called a trust exercise. Come on, dude. Mm, okay. <gasps> why are you kids not in gym class? We've got a sick note. Where is this sick note exactly? I think it's in there somewhere. How convenient. You don't look very sick to me, and you look at me in the eye when I'm talking to you. Uh, sure. Let me just take a step back. What the? What's going on in here? You don't seem to be getting any further away. Ah, oh, there you go. Hi, mister. You can call me coach. Now get to gym class. What's going on? I have no idea. We're terrible. Code Red, I repeat, Code Red, this is not a drill. This body is exercising. Somebody do something. I do. What do we do? I can feel myself getting healthier. Well, in circumstances like this, I think it's safe to say that now would be the right time to break out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Hey, Waterston, if your sweat reaches me, I'm gonna invite you to a pain party where the only guests are you, me, and my fists. It's not sweat. It's my organs crying. Come on, Watterson. If you can't manage a simple push-up, how are you ever gonna do a cartwheel? Why would I ever want to do a cartwheel? Because everything you learn in gym class could make a difference in your life one day. What possible use could I have for knowing how to do a cartwheel, apart from physically replacing the wheel on the cart? Maybe the day you want to win gold in the 1986 Olympics. That's not a cartwheel. That's just a photo of you upside down. Yeah, well, that still doesn't prove it's useful. Oh, really? Jamie, you're running being chased by a pack of angry dogs, but oh no, you've dropped your pen. Now, do you let those dogs have that hard-earned pen, or do you cartwheel your way out of it like a boss? Statistically, that is quite unlikely. But in that highly illogical and incredibly specific situation, I guess you do have a point. But what about that stuff? Let me paint you a picture. You're being chased by another pack of angry dogs. You've reached a ravine with only asymmetric bars allowing you to reach the other side. They want your pen. What do you do? Oh, I guess I just turn on my jetpack, fly over the ravine, land in my flying car, and drive to space. That's completely unrealistic. Jamie, come here and show Watterson how you would do it. Perfect. You remind me of me at your age. Except for the fact she has a neck. <laughs> Faster, that's not how you take gold at the 96 Olympics. Okay, so you just been to the mall, but suddenly in the car park you see a pack of angry dogs here. Yeah, yeah, why don't we just let Jamie show us how to do it? And that is how you win three gold medals in trampolining. Now show me what you got. <sighs> higher. 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 Angry Dogs 3, Watterson nil. <laughs> Lesson over. We need to cover as much of the neighborhood as we can. But we can't ask for help. And we obviously can't be everywhere at the same time. All right, dudes, this is our target. If you see him, just pin him down. OK, ready, steady, go. What have you done with your Antons? Did you lose them all again? No, well, there was a bit of an accident. I told them to split up to cover more ground. So? I think they might have taken it too literally. It was pastry side. Don't beat yourself up. These guys are so sweet and obedient that if I told them go jump in a lake, they wouldn't even think twice before they... Uh, stop! The machine's aborted! We're going back home! Ugh, we're gonna need a place to hide them when we go to school tomorrow. What clown? Uh... They're trapped! They're being held captive! They're close. Don't worry, you're safe now. Until it's time to make a sandwich. My name is Antoine! I was the first! Kneel before me! Actually, you know what? I don't think I care anymore. See you later, guys. Ah! Anton! What? Uh, uh, you're late for class! Oh, no! Ah! Thanks, guys. Huh? Since when do we have a mirror here? A mirror here! Oh, my gosh. This mirror has an echo! Echo! <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Oh, thank goodness he's as dumb as the other ones. I thought we were busted and he'd find out about the cloning. What cloning? What the... How did you hear me? Dude, just because I'm out of sight doesn't mean I'm out of earshot. You made a clone of me? How many did you make? Shh, not that many. How many? How many? Uh... How many? How many? Enough to have my revenge! There can only be one original, and it's me! Quick! Come with us, Anton! We'll protect you! <laughs> Unless we 
we get awesome scientific progress from it, I guess. And because of us, our friend is in danger! <laughs> Dude, what are you doing? Go and protect him. I'll buy you some time. But tell Anton I'm sorry. I'm sorry for betraying his friendship. And I'm... Hey! Sorry, dude, you were speaking for too long. Well, I might go down, but I won't go down alone. Totally useless in a fight. This doesn't feel fair at all. I'm gonna have to stop. No! You failed me! <laughs> no! I feel a great disturbance in the food chain, as if a thousand sandwiches cried out in terror and were suddenly silenced. <laughs> okay, I think we'll be safe here. What's your problem, man? Why are you so mean? Because once I get rid of him, I'll become the only Anton! Maybe then you'll be my friend, Father! Messed up! <laughs> Come back, Father! Everything will be perfect when it's just you, me, and Mother! Dude, I'm not your dad, I'm just a dude! <gasps> dude, what is that? You've been doing it all morning. <gasps> Sneezing, can't you tell? Not really. You sound like the world's angriest baby. What's wrong with you? My throat is itchy. Achoo. My breath is wheezy. Achoo. My eyes are watering. Achoo. Hmm, sounds like worms. I think you've got worms. Just squat over a bowl of milk and whistle till they come out. No, dude, I think I'm allergic to something. Don't worry, my friend. Whatever it is, we will find it, and we will not rest until we find you a cure, and you will be rid of this terrible affliction. I promise. So when? Huh? When what? <gasps> Two! Oh, bad. Well, now I guess. So the symptoms are a weird empty sensation in my stomach, a feeling of lightheadedness, and an unusual amount of saliva in my mouth when I think of food. I checked on the internet and apparently it might be something called the G-Virus, which can only be cured by cutting off the infected part or the removal of the brain. Hmm, I'm gonna prescribe two weeks off and a couple of heavy sedatives a day for six weeks. <gasps> No, that's for me. What you just described is called being hungry. Now, for the last time, please get out of my office so I can curl up under my desk and revise my career choices. But I told you I need... Hi, Dora can't stop speaking. I was here first. I was just about just to a second. some medication. <laughs> How can I help you? Achoo. Right. Sounds like a simple allergy. Just hold it in and get back to class. Oh, okay. <gasps> You could pop a blood vessel or even worse. Is she right? What she is is a pain in the neck who makes my job a nightmare. If you have a pain in the neck, you should really consult a medical uh, professional uh, uh, because your vertebrae may have slipped out of alignment, which could be a sign of something more serious. Have a nice day. Aren't you supposed to take care of kids who are ill? Have a nice day. But we still don't know what he's allergic to. Have a nice day. I feel like you're trying to tell us something. Have a nice day. <laughs> I'll never know what she was going to say now. What are we going to do? Hmm. We're going to need to find an alternative to traditional medicine. <laughs> Did I hear someone talk about alternative medicine? Alternative medicines are often ridiculed for being a bunch of magic baloney practiced by a gang of almost criminal bozos. But look at me. You can tell right away it is no laughing matter. Yeah, it's definitely a bit sad. So, the plan is to clean your energy by absorbing the toxins with the power of this unbreakable crystal. The power of these two unbreakable crystals. How does that work? I don't know. The magazine this game with went bankrupt after two editions. I'll just, uh, do this. How does that feel? Good! I think I... Oh. I'm not okay! Don't worry, I've got a diploma in the ancient art of acupuncture. Really? Yeah, I bought it on the internet. It came with a scuba diving license and a dog breeding permit. Ow! Ooh. Ah, not there. Oh. Well, on a pain scale of 1 to 10, this looks like it would score at least, uh... Somebody please finish me off every second of my tragic existence as pure agony. Don't worry, acupuncture is completely painless. You're right, I can't feel pain. Or anything from the neck down. Yeah, I couldn't remember the exact energy points I needed to strike, so better safe than sorry. But hey, at least it worked. You haven't sneezed for a whole... <laughs> Ugh, I can smell dancing and taste purple. Are there gonna be any more side effects? Lana nas enigmatico cuando das bikini. 
I'm sorry. What I meant to say was... Oh. Maybe it won't be so bad. I'll just meet Tina in a quiet, calm atmosphere, and we'll talk things through like civilized people. Yeah! This is a great idea! This is a terrible idea. Hey, what's going on here? I'll have no fighting on my watch! Oh, Gumball Watterson, I might have known! Oh, thank you, Miss Simeon. Oh, I was gonna fight a T-Rex. Please, send me to detention. Well, I suppose I could. After my coffee break. But, Miss Simeon, Tina's coming! Coffee break? <laughs> But, Miss Simeon, you're my last hope. Please! <laughs> fight! 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 Uh-oh. Where's Gumball? Here! What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Use the bunny hop, son. 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 Dad? What are you doing here? Well, I wasn't going to miss the big fight. Gumball! Time to deal with this like a man. Gumball! Stop running! <laughs> Dude, I have no idea what you're saying. Sorry! removing your glasses when you're at the table? Uh, yes. <gasps> what happened to you? I ran into a door. That's not true. He's being bullied. Seriously, I did run into a door. Honey pie. Gumbo. <gasps> Sit! You guys make up. <sighs> Mr. Rex. Hi, Mr. Rex. We need to talk about your daughter. <laughs> so it's going to be like that, is it? Well, that's fine by me. Your dad is pretty scary. So's your mom. Uh, Tina, is it true that you're bullying?